All right, we're here in St. Petersburg, Florida. We made it in. It's been a little bit of a hectic day so far. Um, we I'd already say it hasn't been that hectic. All we, right, we, we biked. We we rode the bike course and it was a little windy. Don't have any footage of that because my GoPro spent the whole morning not turning on. I think I got it figured out. We're headed to get some coffee at a place really close to the race, and then we're gonna go for a quick run on the course and then maybe a little swim at the pool. The pool here is amazing. We don't actually have a swim today, but worth going for a swim anyway. Yeah. that coffee shop was completely uh that was rad basically the all-time coffee geek situation the, the roaster that looks like it belongs on the space shuttle pour over some sort of a drip machine that i've never even heard of or seen before a grinder that was made by the same guy who designed the iphone allegedly and it was tasty um also feel like we should mention this is 100 not our car our wonderful homestays are letting us borrow it if you were like picking up on some of the nice ones. 100% did not get a Porsche rental car. All right, so if we go over to the right, then we can like actually start exactly where the run starts or we can just start running to the left.
Okay, it has started pouring rain randomly, <laughs> which is which is awesome. But we're gonna head over to Waterfall Bank now, actually, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get Kevin, the CEO, to give us a little bit of spiel about what the bank's about and uh, a tour. And a tour. We hear there's a fantastic waterfall. Since it's raining, I was really hoping to fly my drone because it's like a really cool building and property, but um, might not be able to do that. That's okay. Okay, yeah, so here at Waterfall Bank, it's a beautiful lobby here, and uh, it's designed specifically to give our customers a chance to, if they're familiar with the branch experience, that that's what they want. We have it here in Clearwater, but we really have a focus on technology. We've made an investment in technology, and we are striving for strong customer service, and that's what uh, that's what we're going to do. And we we've, we've got plenty of examples of how the service has really helped uh, our customers. So we're really glad to partner with the uh, triathlon events. You know, we've sponsored a couple of events. We partner with uh, Waterfall Racing. Uh, they're they're a different entity, but uh, we work with them, and uh, and it's great, and it's had a, a very positive uh, effect on the bank. Sweet. I didn't, really didn't know what to expect. I kind of, they just built it a year ago, so I wasn't sure it was going to be half empty or something, but very it cool. It's a beautiful building. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they got a lot of big plans and it's really cool. And um, uh, just, just to like reiterate, we're sponsored by Waterfall Bank. We're not on the Waterfall Racing Team. And like I, I said it a while ago, but we're like super grateful to Waterfall Bank and Ben for sponsoring us. It's been, it's like really kind of taking a lot of stress off. And, just really, really nice people. So. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. If you're if you're looking for a loan or want to change banks and just have some really nice people to work with, they're your folks. Let's see if we can get get on now. director for St. Anthony's. Uh, I have been a part of this event for the past, I don't know, 10 or 12 years, but kind of behind the scenes. Oh my god. <laughs> no shit. Is everything okay except the frame? 
If you want a shiv, I have a shiv. Not gonna you. Do both. <laughs> okay, pro briefing. Pro briefing is all wrapped up. We have to head to the store to try and find a thing, tool for Paula's bike, but pretty much it. Such a simple race because the pool is right next to the swim start, next to the transition, next to everything. Almost no driving. The home stay system, everybody takes care of you super well, so. <sighs> Actually, the day before the race, for the first time in a while, we can just go lay down. And it's only two. And it's only two. All right, it's been a long time since I did this, but I'm gonna bring out, take us out with some narration. Coming out of the race, we really didn't have any um, video evidence of the race happening, and we really only got a couple of pictures from uh, Kenny Withrow. He was nice enough to help us out, so we had something for Instagram. So we decided to do our race recap on our podcast, and I left a link to that in the description below in the first comment. We really had fantastic races. Both of us are super pleased. Paula, if you don't already know, won the race, had a huge lead coming off the bike, held on to it on the run, and uh, won her first time in St. Anthony's without too much problem. I had a great swim, had an awesome bike, and uh, had one of my best runs that I've ever had in a triathlon with a 31-30-10K. That was, uh, only good enough for fifth, unfortunately, but I really can't be upset with it. Uh, the race did come down to a sprint finish for the top three positions between Matt Sharp, who ultimately won, Matt McElroy, who got second, and Ben Canute, who got third. Coolest thing about St. Anthony's really, as a professional, is the culture and the homestay system. The Mad Dog Triathlon Club takes such good care of all the professional athletes. Most of us have a homestay, for the entire time they're worth the race, get picked up from the ho get picked up from the airport. Sometimes you get dinner cooked. Our homestay let us borrow their car, and the post-race party is always incredible. I would just recommend that anybody do St. Anthony's if you want a little taste of what triathlon was like when it first started. This was almost the 40th anniversary. I think it was actually was the 40th anniversary of the first St. Anthony's triathlon, and it was like the 39th time that it's been held. A lot of the people here were there for that first race. Some of them were there for the first Kona. It's an incredible community, and I really think everybody should um, make the trip down to Florida to experience it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you go listen to the podcast, thanks for checking that out, and um, we'll see you next week.